Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Becky and I recently bought this Land Rover Discovery 2 to convert and live in. And at the minute I'm just filming my journey and what I'm getting up to and the whole process of it because I think the journey is sometimes more special than the destination, which will be the finished product. But anyway, it's been raining so, so much recently. I got back from the Lake District, it was raining all there, and it's just been raining, and today's not. So I thought I'd come out and come out to the woods and have a lovely camp out, make some nice food, enjoy being outside, and just feel a bit grounded and do some wholesome things. I also want to test out the new arrangements in the Landy and trial it. And also going forward, I want to know what works and where I want everything. So staying in it overnight and being in it and around it, you can really think and get some ideas. And obviously being outside, there's no stimulus and I can really get in the moment and just think what I really want with my build. Previous to this, it was the case of buying all the materials that I would need to just start the build. Right, so today I am in Wix's and I'm going to be getting some stuff for the bed build, which is exciting. So just having a look around and seeing what I really need. And I think that's the hardest part, knowing what you need, like wood-wise, screws, that sort of stuff, tools. Right, so today we are driving down a unit where Jake's dad works at, so it's perfect because it's a good place to build and be able to take all tools and just convert. The first initial step was to build a floor, but leave a gap for the fuel tank in case I get any problems with that or the sender unit. Learning so many different skills about the Land Rover but also all the woodwork to build something was so, so beneficial. So as you can see we have now cut a hole into the carpet that came with the Landy. I made a little cubby hole in this wood and then we put a lid back onto it. Then the next following stages were plying the sides, plying the rear door and making the frame for the bed. I was really grateful for Jake for showing me how to use some various tools, learn how to make a framework for the bed and so on. Right, so looking inside Percy, you might see some of the obvious changes that have happened. Basically, I had my bed about to here. It was just shifted all this way. And there was a big gap down one side. And I was going to incorporate some sort of storage unit and a little worktop that side. But with thinking and being in the lakes and living around it, I decided the other day to move it back. So it's all on a frame, so I had to cut some of the frame to fit around the wheel arch. There's a fuel tank sender unit that sits here, so I put a bit more wood in to plate it off and then have now put floor over the top. Okay, and if there is any dramas with the fuel tank, I'll just simply peel up this bit of flooring that you'll see in a minute. So that's what I've been doing. I've been thinking a lot about the build. I've ordered so much stuff. I've ordered my diesel heater. I've looked at what roof rack I want to get. I've looked at what tyres I want to get. The Velcro storage bags that you can stick onto your wall or onto the, your back door panel and what storage boxes I want. Originally I just had these see-through storage box with lids but I decided 
having lids isn't a good idea at all when it's under your bed. Also, you can see here I've put one layer of floor down and I'm about to start this bit here. As you can see it's now dark I got carried away with doing the floor and sinking and then I set up a tarp over because it started to rain and now I've got my fire going for cooking dinner tonight on the Atego stove from Petromax so Bushwhacker kindly let me borrow his stove to trial out to cook a steak tonight but it's been a beautiful day I really enjoyed it I recently bought an air rifle as well so I've had a little go on that but I haven't done much filming obviously it is an essential to have an awning or a piece of tarp or just something so you can operate outside otherwise you're just pushed inside the Land Rover which is lovely but I feel like if you like the outdoors and you're doing it long term then it's nice to get out as well. that is dinner done I have got steak asparagus tomatoes and a little salad bowl which has got like avocado potato salad cheese that sort of thing so that's gonna be really nice to go with it I'm thinking sod it I'll just eat out the frying pan seeing as it's just steak and asparagus in there so I might do that this is gonna be a lovely meal and I'm so hungry now Good morning. Woke up to lots of rain and wind today. Don't seem to be getting much luck with the weather recently, every time I come out, but it is what it is. Currently sat out of the elements, sipping my coffee. I'm gonna journal a little bit this morning.
After getting back, I went and refilled my gas bottle and got a new regulator and a hose. I got one metre hose so it will fit under my unit and be able to reach the stove on the worktop. So I've just been sent a valuable bit of kit from my Patreon. Todd, thank you so much for this Ard case. This is going to be perfect for security and securing my van overnight when I want to do a wild camp or when I'm leaving it in a certain location. So this is such a great security thing and I'm very grateful. So at the minute I am just measuring the bed. I rigged my gas bottle up to my camping as stove. So I bought a new gas bottle today, a whole new one of camping as. I spoke to the guy for a while to see what the best option was for taking gas to Europe. Now I'm currently in the stages of measuring the bed and ordering the foam tonight so then I can have a lovely comfy bed that's permanent. But anyway, it's super cosy, it's lovely in here and tomorrow I'm actually planning on getting some more wood and starting on the worktop. That is the plan. I really, really, really hope you've enjoyed the conversion so far. The next part of the conversion is going to be going up a level with more stuff and it'll pretty much be on its way and good to go and done really once I've got that work topping and some storage and my underneath storage and some other bits and bobs. Also got my diesel heater to go in which is going to be in in the next video. So thank you so so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed the woods camp and also where I'm at with the decisions that I'm making and where we're going with the conversion. I'd like to thank all my patrons for making this possible and supporting me and they are all listed in the description box below. I want to thank you all for the lovely comments, lovely messages, all the likes you give me. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.